All right, hi there. This is going to be a quick introductory tutorial to get you up and running with using the program PowerPoint. If you want to make some presentations or tell some people a story or do whatever you want with this great program. So I'm going to click here on PowerPoint and it will open right up. And these over here on the left are what's called slides. And uh, they will be what you are showing to the people that are viewing your presentation. And if you want a new slide, all you have to do is click on new slide and you could add different content to each slide that you want. And if you want something here, you can do that. So you have something here, something there, something there. And if you want to delete them, all you have to do is press the delete button and delete. Now, if you want a different type of slide, see this little arrow right there, you could just click on that and you can see all these different layouts. And with the blank uh, template that we have here, it, these will all kind of come up pretty similarly. But if you want to change how it looks, you could click, I'm at home here, you can click over on the themes tab over here and if you click back on the slide you can make it look like one of these if the none of these interest you, you click the arrow you can see as many as you want and I will pick this one actually I don't like that one I'm gonna click this one okay and I have hello and now I could add a side um, a subtitle this is my presentation about ducks and I'll do three periods to make the audience wonder what I'm going to be talking about with the wonderful world of ducks. So now, right now I'm in themes, and if I go back, whoops, you want to make, and I go back to home, I could see all my different types of fonts I could do, and bold, italic, underline, the color. So if I wanted to change this, I could do that, and change it to, I don't know, yellow. That looks horrible, so I am not going to do that. I'm going to change it back to black, but if you want to play around, you can do that. Now I am ready to add new slides, and when I go over here, remember to my little arrow, you can see that here orange is on the bottom, here orange is on the top, here it's on the bottom again, there it's kind of in the middle, and so on. You have these little cards right here for pictures, and you could also put content into these, um, but in all honesty, I prefer to do it on my own up here. Just I feel there's more flexibility and it's just a little simpler. So let's say I want to do one down here, see how that's different. I have my first slide right there and I have my second slide right there. And I could add text to this little box and I could say ducks, I keep on spelling ducks wrong for some reason. Ducks are cool. And let's say I want the audience not only to hear me saying that ducks are cool, but I want to show them a picture of them. Right here in the little insert tab, just go to, just click on picture. And there's a couple different things you could do. If you want to do clip art, you can just clip, uh, click on clip, click on clip art. And good thing Clippy's not still around. And you can pick one of these or multiple of these types of uh, pictures here. You have all images, every single one they have, um, or you can go down here and categorize it. I have a duck right there, so all you have to do is drag him out there and he will be there. I don't know why that one went away. And if you wanna get rid of this window, just click on that. Now, if you click on him, you can control the size and that looks pretty good to me. You can move them around. Obviously, if you want to rotate them, you can go up to that and that will rotate them. And uh, whoops, there we go. Let's make them a right upstanding duck. And I'm gonna make another side here. And if I wanna quickly do it, I just click on that again, but I want a different one right there. And let's just have a completely blank one, which is kind of what I do a lot of the times. Now here, there's no text, there's no picture. But if you click up here, the text option, just click on that. And there's a couple different options, but for simplicity's sake, we will just do a text box and highlight how big you want it. And now you can see just like you had before over here, you have a text box to type stuff in. 
and depending on how big you want it, so it was an 18, I'll put it up to 44, and ducks are really cool. This isn't a very good presentation, sorry. And you could play around with the color that, whoops, you can press enter for, oh, there we go. If you want to play around with, er, if you want to play around with the color, you can do that to make it however you want. That looks pretty bad, but that is up to you how you want to do it. Here they kind of give you a little help with it because they had the title right there. Here you are doing it completely manually. And let's say you don't want a picture from the clip art that Microsoft provides. You can just go on the internet and you could search yourself. So if I have ducks and I go to images and I have this duck right there. He looks great. Why ducks are better than dinosaurs. That's a compelling point that I might put in my presentation. And all you have to do is oops, secondary click to copy the image down here and go back into your presentation and just command V and it will paste and click on it to make it nice, a nice size. And there is my duck right there. And I could keep on trying to make new slides. I don't like that. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click on it and do delete and I can go from a different template. I don't know why this isn't loading. Oh, there we go. And the two column one, and you could keep on going. And really that is all you mainly need for 99% of PowerPoint presentations. Remember when you are making a presentation, it is about you, not the flashy gimmicks that you have in your presentation. So that should enable you to make a compelling presentation with PowerPoints.